and then you just twist it like so yeah okay and then there that's how it should look like no no that does, does, does that work all right Josh V Castro here and in this video we're going to be unboxing Kuru Kasu's Logitech Brio rework kit for the Log for Logitech's Brio this this is the box as you can see here this is actually going to be my first unboxing video and fortunate enough this is a box that we're going to unbox on this channel so yeah this is the first unboxing video I'm not going to be sh I'm not sure if we're going to be doing more of these unboxing videos uh, I'm just, you know, we'll, we'll see, but you know, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to make a video because I have a box that we can unbox. Anyway, enjoy. So this is the box right here, as you can see. Uh, it's all the way from Lithuania because that's where this came from. As you can see on the box, uh, it arrived on, uh, actually it was, it was shipped on the 3rd, the 23rd of March. So 3.23 and it actually arrived on... Actually, it didn't arrive on April 20. It actually arrived much... It arrived in my country on April. And then it arrived a month later to my doorsteps. So it, it, it actually arrived around May. March, April, May. May or June? I, I, I guess May. And then now it's actually September. <laughs> so it's been like... Yeah, six... About half a year that I've actually had this. And now, just today... I'm finally unboxing it because I just found the time to do so. Yeah, because I've always, I actually plan to make an unboxing video, a rework video of this, and I might as well do that. And then that got postponed a lot. And then, yeah, I'm finally getting it too. Anyway, without further ado, let's, let's unbox this baby. All right, so first we have a top-down view of the box. So as you can see here, uh, it's from... Sal Salius Luxe, thank you so much, Salius Luxe, by the way, for hooking me up with this. Yeah, the he was actually basically my contact support. I think he's the guy that makes this. Mm -hmm. So I have my handy dandy half scissor knife here that we're gonna use to open this. So that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, that perfect. That's nice and sharp. All the way from Lithuania. Yeah, kudos to Salius again. Because uh, he actually gave me a discount, which was cool. It was, only, it was 5%, but it's a discount. So if you guys want a discount, yeah, just just reach him. All right, contact him. And then maybe, just maybe, no real guarantee, you'll get a discount. Uh, so after that, we will... How do, you, uh, how do these unboxing videos work? You just unbox it, basically. But let's see, what's the most logical way? I'm like, this, there's lots of tape. This, this this definitely came from somewhere. Uh, let's see. Okay, where is you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Does that is that how that works? Or is it here? Okay, I think we have to mess with this. Okay, okay, we're getting it. Okay, that I think that's what we gotta do. Yep. Okay, and then nope, that's not what we gotta do. How about this? All right, that that maybe the no that doesn't do the trick. This is a hard box to open. Okay, maybe I'm on the wrong side. You know what? Let's just yeah. There there we go. There we go. That was that wasn't hard, right? So here's the nice, and then here's some instructions. So let's get rid of that. So here we got some paperwork printed on a. Well, it looks to be a, a fourth band paper. So here's my stuff. I'm gonna actually have to hide that. <laughs> so much work for me. Uh, so yeah, I got, so yeah, that's my invoice. And then I also got a silicon lens cap. And then here is everything. It's really small, as you can see, nicely packed and cushioned. So let's open that. Let's just see if we can. Yep, we can just rip it open. Yeah, that, that we don't need this anymore. We're going to just do that. Okay, so here's the cap. Here is a filter, I presume. That's the IR filter. 
Here are the tools that we're going to need. And then here is the rework kit. It's really simple, straightforward. And then here is the lens. Wow, that, that's some good quality plastic there. So here's the lens. Here is the rework kit. All right, so yeah, let's get this. Well, this is a nice zip lock. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this is the Kurukes. Wow, you hear that? That's that's metal. That is some good quality metal. Okay. And then this is the front housing. So I'm gonna make a video uh, on how to actually rework this. I'm gonna attempt to rework this, hopefully, because you know this is the camera I'm using right now is the Brio. And I don't want to break that. Uh, so everything's here, which is awesome. So I assume that the end product will look something like that. Yeah, that that sounds about right. So yeah, that looks actually. Yeah, the, well, you know, if you're if you're buying this for the looks, then then the, yeah, then that's that works because it looks really cool metal. I'm like, what is that? Is that a Logitech? No, it's a Kurokasu. So there's the Kurokasu branding right there, made in Lithuania. So that that means you know it's legit if it's made in Lithuania. Then these are the tools you're gonna need. So you got some. Yeah, you're gonna need these. Don't lose this. This is very important. So put that there. This is the lens cap and then this is an IR filter so you have to keep this clean at all times that's gonna go probably there and then here is the awesome lens wow this is hefty okay I'm, I'm digging that look at that look at that can you can you see that all right so this is the lens right here so it has a W a C and an N I don't even know what that means and an F and then these little knob things. So this, that's what that looks like. So yeah, you're, you're, I'm gonna transform a webcam into a DSLR of sorts. So here is the lens, can you see that? So yeah, that moves independently. Hopefully it'll work. I'm like, it should, I'm like, right? Oh, okay, that, that's cool. Is, is, is that supposed to do that? Anyway, it did do that, so. This is the lens right here. And then you you basically install it like that, I'm guessing. And then you just twist it like so. Yeah, okay. And then there, that's how it should look like when it's installed. And then it replaces your uh, the your Logitech's webcam lens with this, which should probably, in theory, make the quality a lot better. So that is this is what we're working on. So this is Logitech's Brio rework kit uh, that I bought from Kurokasu. So thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, in the next video, we're gonna be reworking this. Actually, we're gonna be making. We're gonna be doing some technical stuff like desoldering. All right, there's a there's a whole instruction list about you know what this is. By the way, if you guys want to know how much this costs uh, in pounds, apparently, actually there's a website. I'll I'll quickly show you the website. So here's Logitech's Brio 4K Pro rework kit on website Kuruka. So I'll leave the links in the description if you guys want to. Also. The lens, uh, we'll, we'll go to that in a minute. So yeah, this is the rework kit that you just saw now. So this is how it looks like in its final form with the Logitech Brio installed. And these are the screws and the tools that you're gonna need. Uh, here's a map or a legend layout so you guys know what to do. There's also an instruction link on how to do it. Uh, so yeah, in dollars, this costs 71 40 cents. Uh, and then you can add a filter. I think I got What was it this filter which is an add-on $16 Rework kit only you could also get this with the Brio depending if it's in stock and then silicon dust cap Which is the this oh, which is branded so which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's actually better and then Yeah for the lens I got a 2.8 to 12 millimeter CS mount lens for the Rework it which is compatible as you guys saw there's no converter needed uh, It has a focal length. That's the focal length an aperture of f 1.6 So 
format of one half point. Yeah, I don't know how to read that. But it has an angle view of 105 to 30.5 degrees. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, it's bit yeah, it has a bigger angle view than the Brio because the Brio only has a 90 degree angle view. Rated 5 MP sensors, hence the 5. Yeah, it's a CS mount type and it weighs 85 grams, which is hefty, honestly. It is it is it has it has weight to it. So if you guys want to look forward to the rework video, then it should be here. If it's not here yet, that means I haven't made it yet, but it should be up in the next video, which is about 84 hours from now. I'm assuming. Alright, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to do what you gotta do. Alright, until the next one, see ya.